Oh, well, this is Ace with Rock Revolt Magazine. I am here with John of Edge of Free. How you doing today, my man? Doing great, man. Thanks for having me. Hey, not a problem, not a problem. So you just kicking it back at home, or what you got going on right now? Actually, I just came off the mountain bike trail and uh, sitting down to chat with you. A little huh? muddy still. <laughs> I, I cut, it a little, cut it a little tight on time, so I didn't have time to get the shower. But. Right on. So we're speaking here with Dirty John off the mountain bike trail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. So you guys are uh, going around doing some media, uh, promoting your guys' album that you got uh, out there, uh, self-titled "Edge of Free." Man, it's uh, it's a great album. I've been listening to it uh, for the last several days, and it's just, just. I mean, really, it's so good. It is, man. There's nothing really else to say about it. It's just great. Well, I'm not going to fucking argue with that. <laughs> No. But I am I am very appreciative of your uh, your feelings about it. I'm sure not everyone feels that way, but I got to tell you, man, it's it's uh, it feels amazing uh, to do a record that people reach out to you to talk about. So right. thank you. Now, now is it just you and Scott on the album? Well, we have uh, we have a band uh, that we did not have until we started making the record. Scott okay. and I wrote everything and then put put a band together um, for the studio, and we're still uh, we're still in the process of finalizing that arrangement before we get ready to hit the road this fall. Wow! Right, so you guys are trying to put a tour package together, get out there, and uh, spread it to the masses. Yep, you bet we are. Right on, have you guys. Is there, I mean, anything you can talk about, anything you can tease, or is it all just still kind of a work in progress? It's a work in progress. I, I don't have any details. I can wait for it. Divulge this <laughs> moment, but uh, but when, when we uh, as soon as we have uh, stuff we can talk about, it'll go straight up to the socials, and uh, we'll be letting people know we're coming to town. Oh, yeah. Well, let's talk about this album, man. Self titled again, Edge of Free. It's a very uh, very a uh, kind of a emotional and uh put it all out there on the line type of album yeah it's um you know scott writes all the lyrics i write all the music and we have both been through some similar uh, marianas trenches in our lives and we've 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 shared some up times we've shared some pretty deep down times and somehow the music that comes out of me seems to fit just right with the things he wants to verbalize. And that's a really fortunate um, arrangement. And uh, so th that's where we go. I mean, we, don't, we don't have time to fuck around with, um, you know, and I hope you don't mind the explanation. Oh, no, you can, no, no, we're good. You can say whatever you want. It's one of my favorite flavors. Um, you know, we don't have time to fuck around with trying to write songs we just write the shit we feel. That's it. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I, I know I live in here in Nashville. You meet a lot of people who are, quote, pro songwriters. Right. And it's there. And there's, and I'm not dissing that at all, but that's just how we operate. We don't go into a room to create, you know, on a schedule to create a hit. We, we're just telling, telling the stories we know and the stories we're, we're looking to unravel for ourselves and seeing if, if we can get somewhere on that process and maybe help somebody else along the way as we're doing it. All right. And, I mean, you know, music, I mean, for me, music's always got to tell a story. It's got to have a feeling to it. And those guys that, you know, the professional songwriters, you know, hey, it's a it's a job, it's a way of life. But when you look at the uh, writing credits for a song and see more names in the writing credits than there are actually words to the song, that's when <laughs> shit gets ridiculous. <laughs> well... Okay, okay, yeah, and as a, as a point of reference, I'm not going to mention any names, but, it, you know, we, a lot of us have favorite artists who used to write all their own music, and then you can kind of tell in the arc of their career where they started having, quote, writers come in. Yeah. Because the songs went from having a lot of originality and a lot of depth to being a little bit more processed and packaged, and it's like, that's, that's, that connection doesn't work as well for me. No, no. I, you got, I, uh, I mean, most people use music as a way to, it's like reading a book. It's a way to transport themselves 
out of their everyday life into something else or to connect something that they're going through. And yes. I mean, that's, that's true shit. That's what, that's what you guys are writing. That's what you're speaking about. It's, it's real life, you know, and that always, that's, that's my type of me. I'm a lyrical guy. I love lyrics, you know, a good beat that goes wrong with some great lyrics, man. You got me sold every time. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's my thing too. I mean, the story of Scott tells, I mean, he, he's, He's he's been to hell and gate and back, and uh, he he doesn't he doesn't always say it straight out. Um, he likes to weave kind of a tapestry of, of images to lead you on a path that's a little like a little bit like of a magical realism interpretation of what's been going down. But uh, I like that because it adds the same kind of shit that you get from an amazing novel like a Gabriel Garcia Marquez novel or something where you're just like what. Yeah. And yet you can still connect with parts of, of the message, and that kind of lifts it, like you said. It takes you out of your head and may help you connect the dots simultaneously. Absolutely, yeah. That's 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 great songwriting to me. So, yeah, that's that's what it's all about in my mind. Yeah. What uh, what song what song or songs do you like best on the record? Uh, you know, um, Blood, Open It Strong with Blood Eagles, great, man. Um, that killed it. Hold on, I'm pulling it up real quick. I've got, let's see. Blood Eagle straight out the gate was great. Um, Autumn was fantastic, and I loved that one. Um, Higher was also one that really hit. So yeah, yeah, it was. Those are ones that really kind of stuck in me the first time through. Cause, you know, the first time you hear an album, you know, sometimes you got to hear it two or three times to get everything to hit. But those are the ones that kind of stood out right at the beginning. And opening strong with Blood Eagle, and it's just kind of that mellow kind of slower delivery but yet it's a very powerful story behind it is what really kind of it kind of sets the tone for a very ominous tale you know so yeah and you know interestingly scott and i didn't originally have the record sequenced with uh blood eagle as the opener our producer toby wright um sat sat down with us and said guys let me let me re reshake this cup of dice. Yeah. And uh, he sent he sent us the the um, the order according to his thinking, and it was amazing how much more we liked it than the order we had created ourselves. That's what's so great about having a collaborator yeah. and having a producer you can trust, like Toby. Well, it's also great to be able to take that uh, advice and run with it. You know, you know, because there are so many artists out there that are like, no, this is my shit. This is the way I want. It. It's like, all right, whatever. So yeah, no, I think you did a good job because again, it it kind of sets that you know tone of a of a tale, man. It kind of opens it opens the book. It's chapter one, you know. Yeah, absolutely. It, it is chapter one. That's a really cool way to put it. I haven't thought of that. I like it. Yeah, yeah. It was just, so. I, I think you. I think you did great. I think you did a really good job about that. Absolutely. Um, now you are the singer, right? You do all the vocals. No, I'm the guitar player. I thought, you, man, I could have. Swore I read in here. That I'm the good, I'm, I am the the blonde dude in the picture. I play all the guitars and do all the arrangements and um, arrange the strings uh, where you hear strings. Sometimes they're pretty subtle, but um, we've got some in, in there on the record. And Scott uh, sings lead and uh, writes all of the lyrics and melodies. Because, see, that's what I was going to say. Well, that's weird. Why you're singing his stuff. I could have swore I saw in here that said something about you being the vocalist. Now I look like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I look like a dick for not being the vocalist. Come on. Who, wouldn't you rather be the vocalist than the guitar player? No. I, honestly, no, man. I don't think I could live with that kind of pressure, man, because that's where it's all at, you know? That's where it's all yeah. at. You can just sit out there and put out those, you know, delicious licks and let everybody fucking watch you just do magic on the strings. And everybody are like, yeah, that's what's up. You have a bad night on the <laughs> vocals, man. Everyone remembers that. No. Yeah, that, that's true. But, I, but I, you know, lead singers do get an awful lot of press. Oh, yeah. So that's probably why, that's probably why you thought I was the singer. So we can pretend I'm the singer. But, no, I thought I could. Uh, I got to be honest. Scott's the best singer I've ever worked with. Or, or he, he, if he walks into your living room and, and, and does a tune, a cappella, you'll, you'll be stuck to your chair. Yeah. He's freaking amazing. I just saw where it is. My dyslexia kind of had it, got a hold of me. That's exactly what it is, the way I read this. It was my dyslexia that just popped in. And, yeah, that's what it was. I see where I screwed up in my readings, <laughs> in my notes. <laughs> no worries, brother. Yes. No worries. 
So, hell yeah. But, I mean, it's always good to have a good, strong vocal, you know, because, hell, man, whether it's you, whether it's him, it's great. Dude, powerful voice, man, to deliver those messages. Absolutely. Absolutely. And when you, as, you know, a guitar player, feel that that's one of the best people you've worked with, that's got to make you feel great, so. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, it's like, you know, you know, you've been around rock and roll music and music in general long enough to know that it's, I mean, we've all heard the stories of, of brother bands that just are constantly fighting and breaking up and blah, 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 blah. And um, just to have somebody I can trust and count on is rare. Right. You know, it's not easy to find people in the music, in the, in the realm of musicianship, who you can really trust and count on, whose egos are in check, and who have a real story to tell, a story where you sit on the edge of your chair and go, fuck, yeah. when he's done telling the story. That's what I have with my partnership with Scott, and I feel really lucky. All right. and, and a lot of that, like I said, it's money, man. When the music industry, it's money. And with the way the industry is now compared to the way it was, you know, in the 90s, which I actually just got done talking to Rodney from Dishwalla, and we were talking about the glory days of the 90s when all that disposable income was out there to just throw at people. It ain't like that nowadays. So, no, you know, money causes a lot of issues in, in, in the music industry nowadays. Yeah, I mean, nowadays, it's it's pretty damn hard to make money, so you you got to love it. you got to love what you're doing because it's not likely to pay, but it's uh, it, it pays in a whole different in a whole different way. Gotcha. I was up late last night working on songs for the second record, and I just like, when you get in that zone, you just don't get tired because you're doing something that pays some kind of unseen, unseen, uh, you know, goodies. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. You just, you know, yeah, you never know what's going to come about it. You know, that's uh, you just keep working your ass off and putting it out there because you never know who's going to latch on to it and say, Hey, I like this. Let's, let's get this out. Let's do this. You know, so you, you got to keep doing what you love. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Now being in Nashville, which is, you know, you know, a lot of people say that Nashville kind of fell off a few years ago, but it seems to be coming back pretty strong as the music capital of the world, where it did kind of die out a little bit. Do you think it's a little bit harder being in Nashville, or do you think it makes it easier for you to be in Nashville? You know, honestly, uh, now with the Internet, with the, the the way people find out about music, the the location it, I don't, don't think it's as big a deal as it was back when you know, when Seattle happened or when you know when Sunset Strip was happening or or wherever things you know blow out of now you, anybody can get heard by anybody using the internet. I like being in Nashville because there's so many kick-ass musicians and a lot of inspiration. It, it, there's so much good music here. It's funny. It's like. There's so much good music here that you can't even get paid to play it. Right. It's, there's a gl- there's a glut of I mean like everybody plays guitar, everybody blah blah blah. There's like five billion clubs, they're all full, and they've all got twenty bands a night. But I love that. You know, I, I don't look at that as competition. I look at that as inspiration. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Because you get to go out there and see the other people doing it just as hard as you are, and you know that's got to keep you on your game and keep you on your toes because you know. You know, it's like being an athlete in sports. You know the next young buck's coming up right behind you, so you got to keep to your shit. So probably being in Nashville <laughs> is the same thing. you got the next guy out there working just as hard as you to keep you motivated and moving. That's that's a great way to put it. Yeah, it's, it's true. And, and, I mean, there's just so many talented people here. It's, an, it's intimidating and inspiring at the same time, but I've, I'm, I'm kind of dropping that whole fucking competition music's not competition no. there's nobody like me there's nobody like anybody and if you're out there trying to copy somebody you already lost right absolutely matter. absolutely it's yeah. like a brotherhood you know yeah yeah if you're just trying to go out there and i mean now back in the day you know several bands did make it by being cover bands you know one of the largest bands in the world started out as a cover band you know that metallica but it's kind of you know it's a little different though being a cover man and actually just trying to copy someone's style so Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, man, again, you know, Edge of Free, where you guys released it on May 19th. You can probably get it everywhere, Music Sold, Amazon, iTunes, all that good stuff. Yes, sir. And if you want a hard CD, you know, old school, you can uh, get that from our website along with other swag, and, and uh, we'll send it out to you and uh, get, it, get it sent out to you and have uh, 
autographs if you want, and as soon as we have tour dates, we'll let you know. Oh, yeah, and that's edgeoffree.com, your guys' website. You got all the yes, socials, sir. Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. It's all edge of free and that whatever. Just a yep. Google edge of free. You're going to find it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell Indeed yeah. You will. Hell yeah, man. Well, did I greatly appreciate your time today, man. Again, the, the album's great, man. You guys put out some very good work there. Uh, can't wait to see it live, man. Can't wait to see you guys on tour. Hopefully, uh, see you around here soon. That sounds awesome, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, bud. Go get cleaned up, man. Have a good rest of the day. All right. See you. Bye. All right, sir. Bye-bye.